It's a foggy morning, but warm. I'm back where I was about two weeks ago, maybe three, and uh, showing you the pigs. Now, I only have seven of them now. That is what they have done with pasture that looked like that. Now, today, I'm going to take that fence going straight out away from here. I'm going to take it down. I'm going to let them go into this section next. Then there'll be another probably two sections or maybe just one before we get over to the pines. Uh, I'm very pleased with what they've done. Now I should explain at some point that this is not simply a hillside. This was a mine face. It was bulldozed over. I think a lot of the topsoil or whatever was like topsoil from the top of the hill sort of where I'm standing or above it was pushed down over this and uh, I, I irrigated it. I mean, I, I contour ditched it, oh, maybe, I want to say 30, maybe 40 years ago. Uh, and, and the pigs have revealed that. And they're also gradually revealing other things. You see that area that they did not root up through? I think that may be paved. It, 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 it's the site of probably of a building. I could never tell before. It's close to level. And that whole area in there definitely was used for washing the ore. And once the pigs have a chance to get in there, they'll make it, uh, they'll, they'll reveal it, it'll become much more clear. Well, I'm gonna, I'll probably take some shots down in among that as I'm taking this fence down. Up there is where I was standing when I just filmed that. I'm, I'm now down across part of the mine face, or, and I'm down into the area where they were washing the ore. And just to give you an idea of how wi wild this is, Look around here, there's barberry, that's a nuisance. And there's all kinds of wheelbarrow paths, I think they are, going through here. Now it's gonna take the pigs a while, but I imagine they're gonna end up just rooting this all up, which is great. <clears throat> I'm still down in this area <clears throat> where they wash the ore. And uh, I, I'm just not sure how well this will show on the camera, but. Anyway, you can see there, there's, some, there's an anomaly that is not the natural way the ground would lay going along there. You probably can't see that. Here, uh, one stream seems to be joining another stream. There seems to be an island out there. Another island there. This, this is all simply not natural. It, it's, it's the remains of the work of these miners. I don't just don't know if that's going to show. But anyway, I'm about to come out to the area that they have exposed. I think you can probably hear that water. It's a measure of how much water is running there at the moment. And why I wanted you to hear that is because I can divert that I can divert that water up above and take it up to about where that old apple tree that seemingly dead, almost dead apple tree is. Well, I can bring it just below that gate, that's, that shiny gate, uh, and then I can drop that on a, ver on a very high water wheel, which is part of my plan. I'm taking the wire down first, and then I'll use those posts elsewhere. Uh, this, of course, is where the pigs have been for about three weeks. There you can see the way they revealed a ditch that I dug. I think I dug that one by hand. To bring the water. Now look at how different it is in this direction. There the pigs have not yet been. They're going to make that area in a very short time. They'll make that area look like this area. And you couldn't do that with a plow. I don't care what kind of equipment you got. You simply couldn't do it. They do a much better job. Sally remembered that there was a fence there, but she crossed in pretty short order. Usually they'll study it for a long time. Now I'm going to go work my way back up and gather up the fence posts. She probably will go around the perimeter checking things out. The pigs are generally pretty easy to keep in. Another thing I wanted to tell you about this area is that, uh, well, maybe later's a better time, but uh, since I started, there was a, a, a sort of a makeshift road built up to bring timber down out of the woods up there. 
Then they ditched it on the one side and went through, so it cuts across everything and caused real problems with drainage later. That will be revealed as well. Here's Molly, still looking so skinny. I haven't had those eight piglets on her for so long. She'll, she'll figure it out. She, she knows where to stop. But she'll, she'll probably figure it out in short order too. Pigs are very, very smart. Anyone who knows them knows that. But you should also add they're also very strong. There, the fence is gone. And the pigs are curious. What's going on here? This one doesn't have a name yet. I don't think. This is Sally. Uh, and um, or that was Molly. And there's Sally way over there. I better get walking that fence soon. I did want to say one other thing about this though. That, that, you look at that as a plowing job. You might think, well, that's terrible. There's no furrows. What's going on? Well, it's just plowed. It's not put in the furrows. And it hasn't been, in effect, disks and harrowed yet. The pigs will do that. The first thing they do is they plow it. There's Molly, skinny Molly, doing her archaeology work. She just found a jaw from a, a deer, I think it was carcass that had been there. Down here exploring, seeing what they can find. They'll find a lot. This may be too subtle to see, but the pigs have revealed old ditches that I did maybe 40 years ago as I was trying to figure this out. That's a contour ditch and the fact that the, the, the rain is laying there helps to show it. Uh, there's one there and there's one here as well. And I, I went across this in several places trying to figure it out because the lay of the land was just not right. And I'm sure it's because right in here was a plaza or a building or, or something or other. And the pigs will show me eventually. But anyway, I, I wanted you to see that. Little by little, they're going to reveal all of this stuff. Finally, I want to show you what this looks like from down below here. There's that area which they, for reasons I don't yet know, have been leaving alone. And uh, there's the plowed area. But I'm going to work my way up this fence to show you what a stark contrast there is be between what's on the right, which they have had access to, and what's on the left. There's a ditch that goes right here. They haven't revealed that that clearly. You can sort of see it here. I plan to let them over here to the left of this as well because that really high waterfall that I talked about, water wheel, it'll be this side of that old or that big catalpa tree and I'd like them to clean this all up. Here's a ditch which you can see. Uh, okay well they it's not so apparent yet where they thought it but look look at how different that is from this. And some of you may look at that and say, well, that's bad. Look at how green that is. Look how thick the sod is. Yeah, but it's sod bound. I don't know if you ever heard that term or not. Uh, it's okay, good for some things, I'm sure. But, but not if you ever want to turn it into garden or, uh, or, or agriculture or plant annuals. And here's still another one. You see the stark contrast between that and this. And then finally, that one at the top, which I showed you from the other end. I can bring the water from back around those pines all the way to here, virtually on a dead level uh, contour line, and then drop it right there. Which is what I'll do for that water wheel if, if I get far enough along to do it.